Good evening, everybody. Today, I figured I'd kind of give you guys a little something to kind of talk about. And today, sad news. Um, well, not really sad news, but eh, it's not good news to me. We all know and love my red Impala. New stickers on it. Really can't see much. It's at night. But... Boy, she's had a rough life, and she still is going through some issues. So, at 146,000 miles onto the car, not even after I did my 145,000 mile Impala update, there's your odometer. 146, 560, it's about to pop over to um, 147, or close to it. Anyways... The engine on this car is, everything runs great. Cranks up, starts up, does everything it should, right? There's only one problem. There's a leak. A leak within the oil pan. Now, a Quirk Chevrolet in Manchester quoted me $900 for a new oil pan. And let's be honest. Who would pay $900 for this little bitty, this lawnmower? Well, it's not really a lawnmower. But, anyways, the story is, last night I was driving. I was driving her on a late night cruise. Noticed my check engine light was on. Now, normal, I know this car well. I have never had an engine light of any type show up in my vehicle. So, I thought that was quite strange. And, boy, it was. Because whenever I started pushing down the accelerator, my engine started misfiring. And you know you get that sinking feeling that you know something is terribly wrong. And the engine starts making a knocking sound while I'm driving it. You're having it in normal drive, engine is misfiring. I don't like the sound of it. You know, I, I, I'm not digging what's going on. I'm not having it either. Essentially, the car was three quarts low, lower than what it should have been on oil. Now, what do you do within a situation like that? Well, I'll tell you what you do. You take your car into a mechanic and you have them look at it. Now, I plugged in an OBD2 reader to the um, to the car to see what error code it was throwing because of the check engine light. It was a P11 error code. Now, P11 error codes are normally pretty straightforward camshaft issue. Why was I getting a camshaft issue? It all boiled down to not having much oil in the car. Basically, there was not enough oil getting to the to the engine, and it basically was causing my camshaft, everything in the car to go completely haywire. But we did find out the origin of the leak. It's a very slow leak in the, uh, I believe, the drain plug, but I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on the oil level of my car, and if I need more oil, it is 5, this does take 5, it's recommended that this car takes 5W30, uh, which is a synthetic blend of oil. <sighs> Great. But, uh, it means I'll be paying more for it. That's why I'm not thrilled about it. But, either way, I'm trying to keep her running as long as, can, as I can. Getting it fixed probably sometime next week, once I get some extra money saved up. It's about a $600 repair. So, it's better than paying $900 at a Chevy dealer. They charge an arm and a leg for cars like this. So, with that being said, the Impala is... A sick Impala right now. She's very sick. But hopefully she'll get better. Anyways, thanks for watching. That's it.